Not long from now, we'll be sharing our homes, streets, and jobs with robots. Only now, it's got hands and wheels driving the economy and the real world. Right now, AI mostly lives in our phones and in our laptop. It writes, it chats, creates images or videos. That's it. That's called generative AI. But soon, it's going to act in the physical world doing things for us that's called embodied ai and the bigger goal beyond that is agi systems that can learn and handle almost everything we do across different areas just like us now when we talk about embodied ai the big question is how do we teach machines to live by our rules the rules of physics stuff like don't touch fire don't step in front of a moving bus or load the dishwasher without smashing the plates. Now, you don't start training that in the real world. It's super slow, it's risky, and most importantly, it's super expensive. The answer to that is world models. Think of them as practice worlds. A sandbox where AI can try something a thousand times, fail fast, and learn the patterns safely. And now, there's Genie 3 from Google DeepMind. This thing can take a short text prompt and turn it into a live interactive world for you in which you can move through real time with changes that can stick for minutes. You just type in an idea and it pops a little universe out where agents or people can test skills. What does this mean? It means safer training before touching real hardware, faster iteration across all kinds of setup, better skills moved to real robots with less trial and error in your kitchen or in a real world factory. And world models, they're not just about robots. You can use them for digital simulation or digital twins, game productions, movie scenes, even building virtual cities from scratch. This kind of stuff felt imaginary 10 years ago and now you can just type and make it real. I'll keep breaking down new AI like this in plain English, so follow my account for the next